Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Banjo 3. So we just finished the uh, that moon level. And now we are going to go off into the, well, the next level. And here is the next note door which we can finally open. Oh, look at this. Oh, time travel town. Is this supposed to be like the last level of the game? I mean, I know that there is one more, uh... I think there is one more uh, level before we go into this one. Uh, yep, we've activated that pad right there. Let's see... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I missed out on the levels, so... Alright, so here we are on floor one. Yeah, there is another medieval level that I remember seeing uh, from the trailer. And I'm pretty sure that that one that we just came across is not it. Unless I'm mistaken, but I don't think I am. Yeah, I think there may be some room that I did not go into. Okay, well let's see. Now that leads to a level. Alright, that's the cafeteria. Pirate exhibit. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Go all the way up here. So we can activate uh, this. And there's Time Travel Town, but I'm pretty sure that we are not going to go that way just, just yet. Because I think there is still one other level that we need to find first. And I'd rather go to it. It's quite possible that that level is what I should have done uh, instead of the moon level, whatever that one was called. I'm gonna look around in here to see if I can find that level. Like, is there a fly pad in this room? Let's see... Alright, well I know that there was that level. All right, so here is the library. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I opened this already. Oh, I think I did. Oh! Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the next, the proper next level. Hey, look, it, it's Link's shield from Majora's Mask. That's pretty neat. All right, so now we are slipping into this level. And there's the advent music. Yeah, the music that came from Project Dream. I think it works really well for this level here. Yeah, this was a music track that was in the game's code that did not end up getting used in the uh, finalized game.
Yeah, I think it was like supposed to be used for the pause screen, or maybe it was the Hub World music. I'm not entirely sure though. And I'm pretty sure that this level does feature a transformation because there is a empty honeycomb piece that we can't get to right now. Oh, there's more of those ghosts that we saw from the moon level. I think this level is supposed to have some sort of a Disney feel to it. Or some Disney elements. Alright, well there's Mumbles Hut, so we do now know that there is a transformation for this level. But I'm gonna try to get as much as I can uh, done first before we do that. This level, this music right here and this level just gives me a good young feeling. All right, now let's go into the castle. Oh, it's Cinderella! Rid of this awful creature. He has such a creepy laugh. Ah. She meant that. Yeah, I, I have heard this music be listened to on, uh, I think one of Jackson's uh, music tracks, uh, original soundtrack for this, uh, for the game. And he says that this was inspired by the Elf King music track that Grant Kirkhope had released. Yeah, Grant Kirkhope had released quite a lot of the uh, music tracks that were left over. That's got to be the slowest jiggy fanfare I have ever seen. That took a while. Oh, here's Lago. Hey Lago, we just came from a level that had music from your game. Why, hello there, Banjo. Long time no see. Logo, how did you get here? Well, Grunty had enough of me, so she tore me out of her factory and threw me in the dump. So how did you get here then? Well, the princess and prince needed a new toilet, and they thought a talking one would be better, so they took me in. I suppose... I sure wouldn't... Sewer breath. Well, I'm very happy to be here. Those two aren't at all disgusting and mean like Runty and her workers. Well, we are very happy for you, Lago. Thanks, guys. Oh, and by the way, make sure you get rid of all those flames and that awful dragon. He has been making a real mess of things lately. I'm sure if Prince Toffer was here, he would take care of it, but he is always traveling and doing his job as protecting the kingdom. Would you happen to know that dragon's name? Heard someone say it was Trever, but no one really knows for sure. That sounds like a stupid name for an almighty dragon. Alright. I needed to get rid of that ghost. Thought maybe there would be a note there, but I guess not. I'm just taking a look at this bathroom right here. It's really nice. Oh, I can't talk to Cinderella at all. Oh well. Are there any rooms on the... Oh, there are, but... I guess I 
I shall go into uh, this one first. I wonder what this room is supposed to be. Apples, apples, and eggs. Another jiggy under the table. Jiggy. I guess the prince and princess are losing a lot of uh, puzzle pieces from their puzzle. A record player! I haven't seen one of these in ages. Gonna use the talent trap to get through here real quickly and get all these notes. And the Shiggy. Shiggy! Alright, that's all of them. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in this room, is there? I don't see anything else. Except those ghosts. But they're not worth messing with. Alright, now onto this next room. Ah, dining room. Slowly. Maybe it's these ghosts that are causing all the lag. Alright, normal, normal speed, slow, normal. Chicken! You know, the chicken kind of looked like you could just grab it, even though you can't. I'll take the chicken! That was the only one, right? I'm pretty sure. Thought maybe there would be something down there. Momo token. Oh, I already got what was over here, and that was an empty, empty honey piece. Okay, well, I guess we're done with dinner. Now back upstairs. It's the bed. It's a, it's a guy's face. I'm pretty sure that that is a person's, uh, an actual person's face, but I, I can't remember the name of it, or the name of him. Maybe if I uh, figure it out uh, during editing, I may put up his name on the screen. There's also another picture. Let's take a look at it. Oh, is that supposed to be Cinderella? A live-action version of Cinderella? Doesn't look like any live-action version of Cinderella I've ever seen. Oh, more musical notes. Hmm. 
No. I thought maybe there'd be another one right there, but I guess there isn't. Thought maybe you could uh, open up that painting, but I guess you can't. All right. Well, I guess there's just one thing left to do. I think that the last of the musical notes, as well as the last jiggy in the game, are going to be found over at the top of the castle. I think I saw a way of getting up there. Yeah, I think this was the one level that I did actually see a playthrough on. I didn't see too much of it. I think I was I watched a live stream of someone who was playing through this game. Where'd that dragon go? I saw that dragon, but he disappeared. Oh well, I'll just take the jiggy. Those look like good places for musical notes to be at. I mean, we only have 96 right now, and there should be a total of... Well, there should be like... Ah, dang. Aw, oh, dang, really? Alright guys, I'm back. I had to go through all of that stuff again. I hadn't realized that I'd, uh... I had... My last save state was, uh... Sometime during the last, uh, level. So I did go through all of that again. I... I have not gotten the four notes I didn't get before. But, as I was going through this all a second time, I did remember that there is Mumbo right here. Oh, and here are the last four notes, right here. So wait, does that mean that the transformation only, uh, only needs for us to use it to get that empty honeycomb piece? That just seems kind of a waste. Alright, well anyway, let's see what this transformation is. Oh, it's the watermelon transformation again. Ah. Uh. Now I wonder if this means that we'll be able to go inside of Lago like we did in the original uh, Banjo Kazooie. It's worth a try. Probably could have used this to uh, get through some of those uh, notes and jiggies a lot faster when I was doing that do-over. Actually, what's the point of me getting any more of the empty honeycomb pieces? Because I already got all of the maximum units. Oh, I guess I guess I can't go into the castle. I guess I can't go into the castle. Mumbo magic get weak. Oh man. Dang. Oh, and I also got a Jiggy that was, uh, that appeared in the, uh, the room that I don't think I got before when I was just going through and redoing everything. Is there something to be gotten on top of the... Oh, I guess there isn't. But anyway, there is another area that I... I didn't look upon before. There's this room right here, except... I can hear- oh! You have found me once again! Who? Who said that? It is I, Cheeto, the spellbook, whom you helped get pages back. Oh yeah, now I remember. How are you doing, Cheeto? Not too good. Grunty found out about the cheats I gave you in your last adventure, and now she has destroyed me for good. But since I'm a magical spellbook, I can live for as long as I want. You gotta be kidding me! Spellbook so, Brain, got any cheats for us? I'm afraid not. Since I'm not in book form, I can't really tell you cheats, but there is a really super secret that only the best players can find. Ooh? 
to us. If you have collected all a hundred jiggies and beaten the witch, go back to Spiral Mountain and a door will be open. Oh! A door lead you to super secret surprise. Ooh! Sounds so mysterious. Thanks, Cheeto. My pleasure, Banjo. Good luck to both of you. Okay, well... So, Cheeto is not in physical form anymore. But at least, uh, we now know about that secret door. So we'll be able to access that. Whenever we get there. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna call it an episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.